No, please have a seat. Yeah. God love you today. We're so, truly glad to be here. Um, we're truly thanking God for what he's doing. Uh, I, I, <clears throat> when I was sharing with good people, I'm on a quest, uh, a mission. I, I want any, everybody in new life and surrounding area. Uh, I'm, I'm a homeowner. I believe in homeowners. I've, I've never, really never rented because I was with Uncle Sam forever for 20 years and he never charged me rent. I just gave his property. But I believe in owning. I'm an owner. I believe in owning. I, I'm, as far as owning with a deed, you're, you're never going to really own. God love you. Because uh, you'll pay taxes till Jesus come back. If you don't pay your taxes, they'll take your property. I know. They'll give you two years, and after two years, if you haven't redeemed it, they'll sell it to somebody and they'll move in. So, but we're, we're on a quest to get our people uh, up to speed. It's so important to know, and I'm here to let you know, uh, God's people do perish for lack of knowledge. And it's a shame because God's people should not be perishing. For like, when you think about God's people, his children, so I'm, I'm on a quest. I talk to people uh, that know, and if they know, I get to know. I make sure I try to surround myself or get around people that know, and, and you'd be surprised what, what people know that you don't. And some people don't want you to know. And that's the shame of it is because it's, you would think that, um, that they would want to bless you, but I'm here to let you know. And rich folk, for the most part, they get, either they get rich by knowing rich folk and staying around them or they, you know, but they don't want you to have because they make a lot of their money from you. And we want to definitely get us up to speed on some things. Um, going into the word, I've been saved for 40 plus years. God bless my heart, 40 plus years, uh, 63, 22, yeah, man, 41 years. And I'm going to tell you what, I, I've come to grips with a reality. God wants me in heaven more than I want to get there. God wants me in heaven more than I want to get there. Now, you know y'all looking at me like, man, you got to be crazy. No. You'd be surprised how much he does to make sure I can get there. How many know I'm uh, know what I'm talking about? Because I went through some deep stuff with folk. Churches, my God, churches. Uh, that's why you cannot always listen to folk. Because folk do the best they can. I'm going to tell you, I, I don't normally want to lie to people. But if I can only tell you what I know. How, how many know what I'm talking about? And some of the stuff that I know might not be all the truth, but I'm doing the best I can with what I got. We have a tendency, and in, in, especially in America, America is programmed to listen to bad news. We are bad news people. We, we as much as you don't want to admit it, Bad news, you will, it will draw you, it will draw your attention, and you want to hear bad news because bad news stick. Good news is what it is. It's good news, but, you know, and that's why I said you can only talk about somebody for so long before you'll start talking bad about them. That, that's just what it is, you know. That's why I just say you know me. That's about the best you need or you heard of me. Because when you start getting into my business, it ain't all good and you're going to make it worse. How many know, again, what I'm talking about? So what I'm learning is that God wants me in heaven more than sometimes I want to be there. Uh, just to show you, case in point, who would send down their son to die for people like us? Who would send their son down to die? For people like us. Because I know me. And, 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 and I, I sometimes wouldn't even die for me. Amen. I wish y'all could see where I'm at. One of the things I learned, I remember first the time I was, I was in Catholicism. And in the Catholicism, I remember I was in the old Latin Catholicism, which means we went to church. We didn't know a word Father was saying. We just went. 
Paranasta quotidian with the nobis hoodie santus, santus akiria lesa. I'm sitting back there doing the best I can with what I had. And I, I take a good nap by the time. I knew I was good for 35. I was good. 35, Father was on it. We was good. And so I know how church can work when you're just doing it through the motion. You know, but I went because I was told to go, and if I didn't go, I was hell-bound. I didn't want to go to hell, even though I didn't believe in it, but I didn't want to go, so I did what I was told at best. I never had a personal relationship with God because I didn't think he liked me that well. I know y'all looking at me like, because if I, if I believed he liked me that well, I talked to him. And I only talked to him when I was in trouble, hoping he was God enough to help me at that particular point in my life. Other than that, we didn't talk. Because I didn't believe that he wanted to help me anyhow. Because if he did, he wouldn't have me going through all the stuff I was going through. And I went through some uniquenesses, didn't we, Mama? Thank God that he didn't listen and he knew my heart. That's why people in America is so unique in what we do because we have a form of godliness. But sometimes we deny the power thereof because we don't know the power. Amen. The Jews was looking for a Messiah. They believed that their Messiah was going to come down with an army to make sure they were un, was delivered from the Roman Empire. They was not looking for a man coming down the way Jesus came down. Well, first of all, I'm going to be very honest with you. Until I got born again, it's very difficult that a poor person can tell me much. If you didn't have anything, how are you going to tell me when you ain't got nothing? Now, it's very ironic for him to come down as God and right off the bat don't even have a place to be born. That's kind of unique in itself. If I came down, I'd have came down with fanfare. Angels would have been clearing the way for me. <laughs> Amen. I would have came down. I would have, matter of fact, I would have been born in an in a Albert Einstein or Hahnemann or, you know. I would have nurses round the clock. I, if I needed incubating, it would have been there. I would have been on formula if I was here. You know the deal. Now, I don't know if any of you ever been on a farm, farm, but I never have a donkey or animal, nor do I like their feces hanging all around me. So I would not have been born there. That's fact. Amen. I don't even like walking around dog people. Amen. I'd about to tell you, people walking their dog, make sure you got something to keep, especially around my area. Please don't make him walk in my yard, because if you do, I will call 911 and have you removed. Amen. But he came down, born in a stable, wanted to be killed before he was even born. Herod was on him before he was even, so I'm looking at all this and I'm saying to God, you really must have some kind of a plan. Because I mean, from the day you start to come down, we want to kill you. That's why I tell anybody, if you ain't saved, you can't read this book. If you ain't saved, you ain't going to read this. You can read it, but you ain't going to understand it. Because it won't make sense to the natural man. It don't make sense sometimes to the spiritual man. So you know if you ain't saved, take the book and lay down and get saved and pick it up. I want to go into an area where God has showed me over 40 years of my life. While I know I'm going to heaven. I know. I'm going to tell every one of y'all, I'm going to take my, put my glasses because I got to read by, you know, I put them down so I can see everybody. I'm going to heaven because God wants me to be there. I'm going. I de I'm definitely going. I, I, I'm going. Now, if some people would ask, how do you know there is one? Got to be. There's got, there's got to be. There's got to be. Look at somebody and say, there's got to be. I'm going to tell you why there's got to be. Because you're born and you die. 
Look, because you're born and you die. If you didn't die, but you do. So there's got to be a place to go. I, I was, uh, God, the Holy Spirit was sharing with me. Let me go into this word. We're going to go, first of all, to the book of Romans. And we want to read right about the 26th verse of the 8th chapter. The 8th chapter of the 26th verse. And we're going we're gonna to just touch on that just a minute. And we're going to run and see what the end's going to be. In the 26th verse of the 8th chapter of the book of Romans, it reads, Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities. For we know not what we should pray for as we ought. But the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groaning which what? Cannot. Cannot be uttered. I first read that, I thought it was speaking in tongues. I thought when I prayed in tongues, which I do, I thought that's what the Spirit praying to me. Cause I want to share this with y'all. <clears throat> There, there is such a thing as tongues, even though some preachers don't believe it, because I do believe that there's a heavenly language, because if there's France, they speak France, French. If there's in England, I've been in England. I've been in Iran, I mean, overseas. I've been in the Philippines. We speak Tagalog. They speak Pong Panan. They speak, so there's all these different languages. So wouldn't you think God would have a heavenly language? I'm just, I'm just that kind of a guy. I, I've been in Germany. And God told me when I went up to order stuffed peppers and in uh, Hamburg, and uh, I said, I want one of them. He said, speaking no English. <laughs> that could be Mexican. I don't know, but he didn't understand a word I said. But when I pointed at that pepper, he did the best he could with what I gave him. But I didn't understand a word he said, and he didn't understand a word he said. Now, let me share something with you. When you speak in a heavenly language, the devil do not understand it. I'm here to let you know. You can write it down. Do whatever you want to do. Hey, I'm giving you the best I had after 40 years. When I speak in tongues, he do not have a clue. But when I get down there and say, oh, God, you know, I need that car real bad. The devil says, yeah, he sure do, and I want to make sure he don't get it. Or he'll suffer trying to get it, and he's going to not believe you're going to give it to him. He'll, he'll doubt you. And then, but when I speak in tongues, he don't have a clue. A lot of times I don't have a clue because a lot of times I'll tell the devil half the stuff I... Y'all know the deal. But the Spirit himself makes the intercession. I don't believe that. I believe the Holy Spirit looks at our situation, looks at us, and he knows what you need individually. That's why, I'm going to share this with you right quick, that's why don't mess with people, stuff because you don't know. You can, you can, you can look at me, you can think you know, but you don't really know the whole deal. That's why you can't judge me because you're judging incorrectly because you don't know. You're, you're judging on the outward or what you think you see. You don't know. That's why I've had situations in my life I cannot even explain it to you. How many ever hurt and you can't explain the hurt? I, my man, I'm hurting right now, but I can't even explain. You don't even, I'll try, but you won't grasp. I've, heard, I've even said it. I know what you're talking about. I kind of know, but I don't know. I'm trying to, but when God, ah, uh, yes, sir, he knows before you even open your mouth. He's on it. The Holy Spirit knows. And he that searches what? The hearts know what is the mind of the Spirit because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God. Being in the Catholic, in the Catholic Church, I thought a saint had to be canonized. That's what I was taught for plus years, from 6 to 22. And so a canonized saint meant that you had to do something special on earth, had to be documented, we watched you, wrote it down, possibly a good miracle, boom. And after you died, they would canonize you as a saint. That means all the popes, I mean the bishops and stuff get together, said, yeah, good, Mother Teresa, boom, saint. Well, I, I, I read in the book of Romans, right off the, the bat, when you become born again, you're a saint. Glory to God, I like that. I like to be a saint before I get there. You know what I'm saying? I like my credentials. Glory to God. So you're a saint. That's one of the titles that God gives you as a born-again believer. You're a saint. Saint doesn't mean you're sinless, but you do sinless. Amen. 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 You, you're not sinless, but you believe you'll start sinning less. How many know what I'm talking about? Yes, I used to do more, and when I was not born again, I sinned because that's what I was. <laughs> Amen. 
When I went to the party, I went to get drunk. I didn't go there to hang around. I went to the bar. Right. I was like, amen. Right. If I drank a beer, I was drinking four or five because I wanted to get my head different. Come on now. Amen. A born again believer drink a beer, and after a while, whoa, uh, I shouldn't be drinking all this. Amen. Hey, how many know what I'm talking about? You, you know the deal. You, you're not con- condemned, but you're go. You, the Holy Spirit will let you know you're wrong. How many know I'm talking? Hey, you're wrong. You ain't got to tell me half the time when I'm wrong. I know I'm wrong. You know you're wrong. I know I'm wrong. I just want to get right. And the Holy Spirit does it. That's the problem with us. We get in the way of the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, we got this. You good for nothing, low down. Holy Ghost said, I never wanted you to say that. Because now i got to flip it back on you. God bless you. That was good. Right. I want to flip it that's back right. on you. See, that's why you got to be careful when you judge somebody. Be, be the, when you judge, the same thing will flip back on you. See, do you all understand what I'm trying to say to you? See, when I start judging you, it might not be the same thing he doing or she doing, but that monkey will flip. See, God will dig in your arsenal of stuff and let that monkey rise back up and here you go. You think it's gone, but he ain't gone. He's just sitting in the back because God is working on your behalf. Well, y'all help me here. But what will happen is he'll loose that thing up. You'll be surprised how much God is just holding down on your behalf. That's how come you can't boast because it's God doing it. It ain't you. If it was you, you could hold it. But because, ah, uh, we so, and there's laws in place. Laws in place. The law of lift. I've been in there. I was in the Air Force, and I'm sitting there. And I watched a, a, a when I back in the day. We're right now C5. One foot. How many of y'all have ever flown? How many of y'all know the law that's in place to get you up? I have a clue. You just get on the plane. Ding. You're just sitting there. You don't know that there's laws that God has put in place. That the law of gravity does not go away. If I, if I was to jump off this building, I'm coming down. Unless I got something to break the fall or what have you. That's why when Jesus was on the pinnacle of the temple and the devil said, if you be the son of God, cast yourself down. He'd have died. Y'all looking at me like, oh, he's the son of God. No, Jesus has sense. We're the ones that get all crazy. I'm going to fly. I believe I can fly. Yeah, with wings and TWA, U.S. Air. I believe I can fly. Yeah, U.S. Air. American Southwest. I believe I can touch this. Yeah. Folk could dive off buildings because the devil's lying. Yeah. Now, we see this. Look at this here. For... For we know that all things work together for good to them that love God. One thing I'm going to tell you all, church, he that cometh to God must first believe that he is, book of Hebrews, and that he is a reward. If you believe that he is and don't believe that he's a rewarder of them who diligently seek him, you don't believe that he is. You got to be- oh, y- are y'all hearing what I'm saying here? See, I got to believe that he is. Man, I got an 18, my next one. God, that's my heart. Ha, that's better. Whew. Wait a minute, it could be. Yeah. I told y'all, older I get, I'm melting. <laughs> I looked in the mirror, God, like, my God, son. Thank you, baby. I feel better. I have so much better since I laid that collar down. Look. <laughs> for we know that all things work together for good to them that love God. Lord, I love you. I tell you all, church, the reason why I have decided to stop doing more dumb stuff Because I love God. See, it ain't, look, look, here's what I had to learn. The law did not keep me in check. Oh, 
ain't keep me in no check. <laughs> On 55, I know it's 65 miles an hour. I'm going to do 70. I'm going to do 75. I know I can't get away with 90. I'd do it if I could, but I know I can't get away with it. I ain't talking to just me. Y'all know y'all. I'm talking to people like myself. Y'all know the law don't keep you in check. No. I mean, it makes you think, but you still do. How many of y'all know you break the law? The law said, honor your father and mother. Well, you don't halfway honor back now. God, young folk, y'all don't even know. God, help me. Well, what have you done for me lately? That's what the mindset of today is. What have you done for me lately? I had to ask God. I said, Lord, help me to walk in love because. Love, I, sometimes I feel like, uh, what's her name? Oh, baby, they got beat a lot. <laughs> Tina, what love got to do with it? But I found out that love has everything to do with it. Because love will help and make you do right. You can't tell a person you love them and beat them up. You can't do it. I mean, you can attempt. Now, I can say I lust you. I like you, you good people, but you ain't going to do a lot of dumb stuff and tell me you love me because love don't do. I wish you do, but I know I'm damaged, damaged, mind damaged, heart damaged. How many ever been got over on? You tell a person, young ladies, and listen, I know this to be somewhat of a fact, maybe not in every case. But most young ladies will not give themselves to a young man unless he, she believe he love her. I know the deal. And we lie like bad rugs. Like, like raggedy, no good rugs. You know I love you. I love you. I'll give you. You ain't even got a house, a car, a job. How you going to tell me you love me and you going to give me you ain't got? That would be better if your mama came up and told me that. <laughs> I'm walking down. This and now mama came up. Going, Most of, I ain't going to go there. I ain't going to go there because that's. God knows. Who love him. First of all, he had to help me. And he's helping me even now. I told my wife. I told her, I said, I'm going to take care of you and do the best I can with God. And uh, I took her at a young age, so I knew I had to be responsible. Young age. I'm like, my God. I remember when James was born, I'm sitting there like, man, I got this little brother with me. <laughs> <laughs> but Daddy, that's one thing about my father. My dad did something that stuck in me and still sticks <clears throat> it had snowed a lot. We was on Marshmallow Road, right off of Marshmallow Road. And he had put some bricks in the trunk of his car. I, I look out there. Why is he putting bricks in the trunk of his car? And uh, well, I guess, but it, it was giving him traction in that old car that he was driving so he could get up to go and make a dollar. And I'll never forget that. I'm looking at him, and uh, they had given me a pair of gloves at school. And I watched him. I said, Dad, I said, you need these gloves more than me because... You're going out there making a dollar. I didn't say it like that, but I just said, you know, and I saw it. And I never forgot. I said, if my father could do that for us, I'm going to do that for my family. Amen. I mean, see, Dad, you see how important. Now, Mama could, Mama did what she did. But Mama couldn't have done that. Daddy had to do that. Because I, I watched Daddy go up that hill, sliding back and forth. I said, my God. Then I thought, well, I had to do that one day. I'm going to get me a truck. <laughs> but that instilled in me. Do you know all the dumb stuff my dad said and done? That gave me a respect and a love for that man. I remember, I'm just sharing some fatherly son stuff. He's going on to be with the Lord. Uh, I wanted a bicycle bad. I mean, I wanted a bike. And, uh, He's the kind of guy that would kind of make you think you ain't going to get it, you know. He got something undercover, but he think, 
I said, Dad, boy, I love it. I really like it. So I'm pointing out stuff. You know, that's a nice bike. Now I see it, son. You, you don't need no bike. Gee, me Christmas, man. You ain't never going to get me a bike. Son. I'll be a grown man. Get me a bike. And uh, I'll never forget it. It, it. it was Christmas. And I believed in Santa Claus. They lied. And, and, you know, they lied. They lied and said this guy was going to come down the chimney. And we had a chimney. And I watched. Chimney was about that big, so he had to screw yourself down and screw through it. And we had a good fire, so if he had to hit that joke, we were frightened. So they lied, they lied and said Santa Claus. But I had one eye open, and I remember Daddy pushing this bike. He pushed that bike, and, and I watched it. I said, my God, don't do it like that. I said, I wonder if that's my bike. And I, I played like I was asleep. And uh, woke up that morning, and there she was. And I tell you what, that man, I, and, and, and as much as I looked at some uniquenesses, that gave me such a respect. And I said, you know what, when it was all over said no, because I tell, the, I tell people this, I didn't ask my kids to love me, but you're going to respect me. See, when I walked in the house, you knew daddy is home to stay. You knew. You knew. When I walked in, bam, dad's in. And mom, Cynthia could tell him, wait till your dad get home. That's all she had to do, say, wait till your dad get home. When I got home, most of the time it was good to go. But my children have learned to love me because they respected me. And see, one thing I learned, I respect God. God bless our heart. I respect God. I don't come to church for y'all. Gee, God bless your heart. I do not get up in the morning to come here just for y'all. I like coming here for y'all, but I come because I love the Lord. I love God's people. I love y'all. Y'all good folks. But I love the Lord. Now, I could stay home. Oh, God knows I could stay home. But I don't have that connection. It's like I, I can't pay God. If I could pay him, God knows you know the deal. But everything I got, it belongs to you. How can I give you something that you don't own? David said in the song, David says, What can I render unto the Lord for all his benefits toward? He said, Look, he said, the only way I can make you happy, I'll take the cup of salvation. Look. I, look, I'm going to heaven because he want me there. God bless my heart. I'm going because he wants me there. And the only way I can appreciate, y'all better help me. I can't give him nothing. Took the cup of salvation. I want to grab his hand. Y'all hear what I'm saying? I know all y'all going to be, how many y'all going to be there? You're going to be there. But you're going to see this brother. I ain't going to be pushing nobody out the way. Because there you don't get pushy. You got ties. <laughs> you ain't going to get out of my way. Jesus, they put it up in front of me. There ain't going to be none of that. Because you got all eternity. You got all the time in the world. So I'm going to wait my turn. I don't even care who I'm going to be behind. But I'm going to thank him personally. Face to face. Let me go back to where that y'all took me off my kill. Moreover, whom he did, no, no, no. For whom, yeah, we know that all things work together for good to love, love, according, called according to his purpose. You did not get saved because you wanted to. He called you. I don't think you all that. We're stupid. I'm, I'm not saying that to be smart. I know some people say, man, he called me stupid. Yeah, he always talk about stupid. Yeah, stupid. Go to the book of uh, Proverbs, the uh, 12th chapter. The 12th chapter, it says, because we are, how many of y'all can honestly say you've done some stupid stuff? Amen. Talk stupid. Amen. Acted stupid. Yes, I've even told my wife, I don't even care if I'm wrong, I'm right. That's stupid. You ain't going to tell me if I'm wrong, I'm right. Because I'm the man, I'm right. Everything I do is right. You big idiot. I looked at myself in the mirror. I said, you didn't say that, did you? Did you say that? I'm looking at me. You said that. And I, you know how, you ever, if you want to talk to yourself, look yourself in the mirror. Seriously, I'm not saying to be smart. And watch the expression. 
I said, Lord, I repent. I repent. I ain't that crazy. Satan, you're a liar from the pit. See, I'm going to tell y'all, I'm going to tell you, you know that's pure Satan because who else would be in heaven and get kicked out? Think about what I just said. You're in heaven. you that crazy. Kicked out. That's like, man, are you kidding me? You're in heaven. You're there. You do stupid stuff to get kicked out. Of, you know you're crazy to get kicked out of heaven. Now, you can get kicked out of mama house, daddy house, kicked out of your job, but not heaven. No, because when you get kicked out of heaven, you can't get back here. Y'all hear what I'm telling you? You can't say, Jesus. That's why when you die, non-saved, ain't no getting saved. People are under misconception. I won't be down there with all my partners. No, you ain't. Ain't no partnership in hell. You're going to be all, hey, cool, what's up, brother? Hey, you know me? No, I don't know you. No, ain't no job. You do what you want to do. But ain't no friendship in hell. Ain't going to be hugging and kissing nobody. Ain't going to be laying up with nobody. Ain't no, no. Separation totally. You're separated from everything that's good. Ain't no good. So everything that's bad, that's what you're hanging with. And what you hated worse is going to be your best friend. That's why I am not going to hell. No. Satan, you are a liar from the pit. Because Simmons is not, Jimmy Simmons is not going. You can talk all you want to talk because he'll tell you, you ain't saved. He's lying. Because if you wasn't saved, he wouldn't tell you. Yo, y'all listening. Why would I tell you? You ain't never going to get. Don't you understand? It's just the opposite. He, it's, it's, yeah. Reverse psychology. Make you believe something. Just like he hypnotized some of us. You're going to act like a monkey when I slap my hand. Well, now he got you acting like a monkey. That ain't who you are. That's why the Holy Ghost got to come out and say, come out of it. God bless our come out. Come out. Look, for whom he did foreknow, he also did predestine to be conformed to the image huh, of his son that he might be the firstborn. Among many brethren, moreover, whom he did. Ah, huh? predestined. Them he also what? Oh. And whom he called them he also. I'm just before God. I'm justified. I want to do this because I'm looking at my time and my time is of an essence. I did this, I did this analogy I was reading. And God kept promising Abraham a son. And I'm reading, I started out when he told him, now he was 75 years old when he left uh, the land of the Chaldeans. He left Ur. 75 years old. Now that's, to me, that's old. If I was 75, I'd just give me a chair and just hang tough. But at 75, he leaves. Now, this is deep. Y'all listen. At 75, he said, I'm going to make you the father of many nations. Wait a minute. Hold up. I'm 75. Now, if I was 25... I could pop out about 25, 30. You know, give me enough women. I'll do the best I get what I got. But I got one woman. I'm 75. She's 60. Change. Uh, 75, 60, change. Ain't got nobody. He had to believe God. He had to. Do you understand? That man had to say, okay, you said it. How many of you, look, let me share something with you. How many of you went with God and just said, okay? A lot of times, I'll show you a primary example. I got in my car this morning. Started up on my way. I trusted that car. I trusted it. I trusted those brakes. When I came at that stop sign, beep, I trusted it. You think if I didn't trust that car, I got in it. How many, now some of y'all drive some stuff, you know, maybe, you know the deal. Brake light on. <laughs> you know, you know, I can't drive like that, I'm sorry. You know, all the lights, 
And my son, you know, all the lights are on. And you, you trust it. But I trust my car. Got here, trusted it. Walked in this building. I trusted this building. Walked in. I did not think it was going to fall in. How many of y'all trusted it with me? You're here with me, right? How many of you trusted your car? You're trusting the chair. You're sitting there. I'm trusting this chair ain't going to drop. Right? Come on. You ain't. But here's what's crazy. You ain't even thinking about it. How many know you? You, know, you ain't even thinking. That's what it's supposed to do. Now I'm going to share something with you. That's where God is. That's what he's supposed to do. See, I'm not saying that he has to do it. I trust him because that's what he does. Ah, look, look. He didn't cut the air off. I'm still breathing. Oxygen. H2O. I trust him to be okay with my body. Oh, my body ain't right. Lord, I trust you to do what you do. Look, are y'all with me? Somebody know what I'm talking about. Abraham trusted God, but after a while, after a while, give me enough time, now I'm wondering. Because now I'm, I'm, I'm 80 plus. Abraham said something, and I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna to run on because I'm looking at my time. He looked at God after he did, uh, got Lot back. He's, and he uh, dealt with uh, Melchizedek. He said, you know what, Lord, you told me I'm going to have a son, but look, uh, I'm going to help you. How many of you ever tried to help God? Amen. Because really you're not moving the time. You know, you all understand. See, my, my rent was due yesterday. You know, they're going to send me a letter. It's coming. Day before, you know. And so now he said, I want to take uh, Eleazar and I'm going to make him my son. God said, that ain't what I said. Let me share something with y'all. What God said he would do, he can do it. I'm, I'm sure, as sure as I'm standing here in front of you good people, if he said it, that's why he wrote it down because you can look at it and say, this is what you said. I, I'm just going by what it's in the book. God told him no. Now, he's hanging tough. He's close to 90 years old. A wife is a good thing, but sometimes a wife will look over and say, hmm, the God that we trust in, him, he's slow, man. <laughs> you, you said I was going to have a baby. I ain't even close. Matter of fact, I know the deal. It ain't going to happen now. How, how, many know, how many ever saw a situation that was so, so out of whack that it ain't going to happen? You think. That's why I'm learning, I've learned, I'm, I'm learning that if God said it, I will hold him to his word. Hold him. He wants you to hold him to his word. See, the devil wants to make you think, ah, he ain't going to do it. He, he's lying. God will keep you. I don't care what it looks like. Man, I'm trying to live my life all ragged. God said, hold tough. You ain't the only ragged life I had to deal with. Think you're the only raggedy life living person. Go talk to Samson. He'll tell you. Young lady messed his head up. All he could deal with was prostitutes. I'm like, man, God, what was that brother smoking? They'll read the book. You got to read it. Because Samson was really off the hook. He wouldn't even deal with an a Israelite woman. He started right off, and mom and dad was afraid of him, so they wouldn't even bother with him. Don't mess with him. He crazy. He killing people with jawbones of asses and stuff. Leave him alone. How many, how many of you wanted to tell somebody, and you're afraid? I right, because they're going to take it the wrong way. They're going to look. How many of you had saints? You know, my God, if somebody need to talk, I ain't going to talk to them. Because they crazy. God is talking. God, God is talking. God said, you, you'll listen. I want you to see, I can take the bad. It. God will take the stuff that you in and work that. How many know I'm telling the truth? He's taken stuff in my life and worked it. I'm like, why, God? How am I getting out of this one? God said, watch. One thing the devil wants you to do, leave God. If he can get you to leave God, he's, don't leave God. Don't be a crazy, you, you know, Abraham. So then, right at the brink, everybody then crossed it off. Ishmael's born. 
Hagar's in the house. Sarah's second woman now. She was feeling it. God hears. God's timing is so special. He's right on time. Right on time. Just when you think it's done. Here, how many? How many ever been there? I'm done. Give me a gun. I'll blow my own brains out. God said, "Put the gun down." I got. <laughs> yeah. He he moves in. Right at this unique thing. They're, see, God says stuff about us. If you can only hear heavenly conversation. Ask God to hear. Look, read heavenly conversation. Have you considered Simmons? So the heat turns up. Let me tell you something. When it looks like it's all hell breaking loose, that's God showing the best in you. Because at your lowest point, that's when. How many can understand what I'm talking about? When you low, God can take it high. It's when you high, you struggle. I don't need God. I got all the money in the world. Income tax time. Is my God, we walking around with income tax money. Yeah. Yeah. I got this. Supersize everybody. <laughs> I'm in the house. Yeah. Look, April, can I ball? Can you loan a brother? No. <laughs> April. No, February. In the, in the February, you got a dollar for a good brother. How many know what I'm talking about? Don't we understand? Read this story will tell you when you read it. God, is there anything too hard for God? Jesus picked it up and said, is there anything too easy for God? He takes it. That's why in the book of Proverbs, third chapter, right about the fifth verse, it says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Don't lean on what you think it is. What lean means depend on what you think it. Because you, how many ever been in a bad situation? You go to somebody who you think no. You go and say, what do you think? And, and I want to show myself like I'm not, uh, not under, I'm, I'm above, not beneath. I want to give you, you know, man, if it was me, you're not me. Whenever a person tells you if it was me, that's when you know. Let me go to God. Because God said, if it was me. Now, could you imagine if God said, if it was me? Because he's God. Church, I'm here in closing, which I am. When God gave Sarah Isaac, I guarantee you she forgot all that time that she was barren. I guarantee it. She did not sit there and think how barren she was. She looked at her baby and said, God's good and his mercy endures forever. 1997, I was at the brink of bankruptcy. I was there. I'd already told God, I'm writing, I'm, gonna, I'm trying to find me a good lawyer because i got to get out from under this. I'm tired. I'm done. All my money. I'm done. How many have ever been financially done? Kid, I'm done. I was driving, going to work. I was trying to figure it out because that's one thing, and, and my wife will attest, I don't put a whole lot of financial burden on her. I really don't. That's only because I feel like that's, that's my job. That, babe, I, I say that because I respect you, and I don't want you worrying about a lot of dumb stuff that I, had, that I created. Most of our financial debt is what we kind of, how many know what I'm talking about? Most of your stuff you create. Oh, we send up there, God, you know, and, I don't know if it's a car note, but you know, you, you buy you buy an Lexus and you should have been buying a Chevy, Cobalt. You know, how many y'all y'all in the house with me? Don't don't think you can rub on a car and you can pay make the payment. God said, lay hands on it, Lord. This 1914, this 2014 Lincoln is mine. You better take the payment book and the insurance because it's going up. Unless you got the job to handle it. Are y'all listening to me? Now, I'm not saying God cannot walk a person, a person walk up and write you the check, but have the check when you go to get the car. Ain't nothing worse than looking out the window and you're at work and they're pulling your stuff away. Man, they're taking your car. <laughs> I, 
they told it to get it fixed. That's, a, that, that's embarrassing to you and to God. Are y'all with me? No. God gives us quality, know-how, anointing. He's blessed me immensely. When I looked at that situation, I said, Lord, you know. It had nothing to do with type pain. Well, y'all looking at me saying, well, you know, it has a lot to know. It had to do with who I was. Y'all, see, you got to stop thinking you're making deals with God. Because you ain't going to make a deal with God. Oh, y'all listening to me. You ain't going to cut no deal with God. God, I'm always getting. I'm always standing at the door hushing. I'm, I'm in the kitchen. I'm always. Only me, Lord. Only me. I'm, all the, I'm the only one. I give higher than most. I know the pastor don't give like I give. You don't know nothing. Give it a break. I wish y'all, I wish y'all knew what I was talking about. I'm up there comparing myself with other men. They don't come out and I told y'all when I when I did that tour in, in Glassboro, I'm using, using polyurethane like a nut. Yo, I didn't even read the instruction on the can. Make sure the area is highly ventilated. I'm down there putting polyurethane down in the church, crying, eyes burning. Next thing I know, I was so high, I'm like this. Woo! I went up. Woo! Now, I'm crying. Lord, i the only one. Nobody came down here to help me. You idiot. Ain't nobody tell you to do it. People's shoes sticking to the floor. <laughs> oh, you know you better keep that to us. <laughs> they like this. How come the floor is so sticky? <laughs> like that. Like that. I tipped it out. <laughs> Don't think. Don't think what you're doing for God, you over. I didn't get over. I'm crying to God all that I do. Oh, me, me, only me. God looking at me, you ain't dying on no cross. You ain't dying on no cross, man. You ain't that sharp. Matter of fact, you left the floor sticky. I'm looking at Church. If you don't let Polly your thing dry, it will stick your shoes to the floor. <laughs> and yeah. yeah I, did, it, I did the best I could want to have. You all some good people. I tried. And you know something? Here's what God did. Because I was his son, he looked over all the dumb stuff. He said, I'm going to open up an area right when you need Ah, Right when you need it, Simmons. I will send somebody to, God will send somebody who totally off the cuff. Told you I was sitting on the job trying to find the lawyer's name in the book. Girl walks up to me and she said, I said, where are you going? She said, I'm going to get, get money out of my 401k. I said, a 401 what? She said, Jimmy, come on. Now you know, you got a 401k. And she had a little application. I got right behind her. <laughs> I'm going to get it. If you're going to get it, I'm going to get it. Church, this is, well, you know, I ain't going to stand here and lie. Why would I even think to lie? I needed 11000 and some change. God gave me 11000 and some change. I said then, why would I doubt you? Why? And the Lord said, because you don't really know. He said, I'll bless you in spite of you. I will bless you in spite of you. You're my child. Why would I leave you like this? If I take you, that's because I want you. If you go through that because I allow you to go through it, my hand is in your on in your life. Because you're in me, I'm in, God help me. I'm in you. You go, I go. When you stop, I say, ah, oh, God help me in this house. So that gave me to know. If they take it, it should be taken. You got something else. Don't get discouraged with this life because it's temporary. And he's in the oh help me. President Obama knows he's in control. He knows it. Medical act, 
Truman, Roosevelt, Truman, Nixon, all of them tried to get a medical, a medical act done. God had to take that man at this time to do it. The devil fighting like crazy, he's going to do that. The AMA got on board, American Association of Doctors, Medical, Medical Association. They fought it like a banshee. It went through. The devil still. But see, God's hand. Look at somebody say, God's hand. He's drawing folk out. He's letting you see who's who, what's what, what's dirt, what's not dirt, who's who. So nobody, everybody knows the deal. What makes it crazy to take a black man and put him in there? That's like, ooh. If he was Toby, they'd cut his feet off. <laughs> not just that. <laughs> oh. But he took that man. And here's what blesses me so. White folk got him in there. White folk. And it wasn't about a color. It was about a God movie. Right. Now y'all get ready. Get ready. You get ready. God's getting ready to do something glory to God like you've never seen before. He's shaking this country, man. First of all, I'll let y'all know America's not owned by Americans, Japanese, and Chinese owners. So you better learn Chinese and Japanese. Chong, Bong, y'all You better get on board. You know? But God's getting ready to do something like we've never seen before. Here's what he's going to show. He's going to make us step up to the plate. He's going to make Christians be Christians. You ain't going you ain't going you going to have to be who you are. You have to talk like you talk, walk like you walk. What does that mean, Simmons? You have to trust him. You're going to have to trust him. How many know I'm telling the truth? You're going to have to trust him. Have to. Most of my money. Matter of fact, most of my money come from the federal government. I didn't take all my money. Social Security cut off. You start talking to Social Security, we cry like babies. <laughs> what we got to, what they, stamps, they take it back. My God, they're going to take it. And then we all say, eh, hey, where's God? God's going to make you stand up and be counted. Lord, huh? look, the earth is the Lord, the fullness of the world. But let me tell you something. I know how to be hungry. If you've got to be hungry, be hungry. Watch God. Right. Our life is going to be at a place where we're going to have to separate, be separated, say the Lord. Come ye out from among them. And what he's going to do, he's going to start separating. He's doing it now. How many know I'm telling the truth? How many see it? Even on your job, he's separating. I want to stand. We're going to pray. We're going to, oh, my God. How did it go there? We're going to stand. We're going to touch and agree. I want everybody that will.